If you are ready to cut the cord to cable or satellite TV, this video will walk you through the process step by step. Fortunately, it's only two steps. This guide will show you how to eliminate your monthly TV program costs at best or drastically reduce your costs for subscription programming depending on what you like to watch. Viewer types can be divided into two groups, live and pre-recorded. Pre-recorded material includes TV series and movies, while live material includes news and sports. Keep in mind that network TV accounts for 9 out of 10 programs watched on a regular basis, so you will likely be able to watch most of your regular shows, both pre-recorded and live, in HD and for free from this point on. Of the most watched series, 47 of the top 50 were available over the air for free. Digital over the air or OTA is more expansive than analog ever was. Analog only allowed for one channel per broadcaster, but digital allows for multiple subchannels. Now instead of just channel 3, there is 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, etc. Where there only used to be five channels available in the city, now there are 20 or more without adding more broadcasters. The first thing to do is ascertain your over-the-air availability. If your TV is still an old analog TV purchased before 2007, then you will need a converter box to receive digital broadcasts. Many converter boxes also are available with DVR built in so you may record programs. There is a link in the description for converter boxes. If you have purchased a TV since 2007, it is probably a digital TV. You will need an antenna and a piece of coax cable to connect the antenna to the TV. On the back of the TV or the back of the converter box, there will be a coax connector that looks like this. If there are two, use the one marked ANT or antenna. Attach the coax to the connection and set the antenna nearby. You can use an old rabbit ears antenna or you can make one out of aluminum foil. There is a link in the description to a video that will show you how to make your own antenna in 5 minutes for less than $5. For these test purposes, you could even get by with a large paper clip in your finger. Just insert the paper clip into the antenna connection and hold on to it while you run the channel search. It might be a little awkward to hold on to the paper clip and operate the remote to scan channels. All depends on where on the back of the TV the antenna connection is located. Another option is to attach a 10 foot or longer length of coax cable to the TV and touch the wire at the other end. Make sure you are touching only the wire and not the metal thread part around the wire, otherwise it won't work. Once the antenna is connected, you will need to do a search for available channels. You can access the channel search function through your on-screen menu. Once the search function is finished, you will either have a list of channels to choose from or nothing. If you have nothing, you probably won't be able to receive local network channels over the air where you're located, no matter what you do. If you have one or two, you should be able to increase the number with a better antenna. However, if you made the one shown in the video link in the description, you won't be able to improve on it very much without a very high and expensive rooftop tower. To determine how many channels are available to you in your location, there is a link in the description that will take you to a page where you can enter your zip code to find out what broadcasters are within range of your home. This guide will also show you what kind of signal strength per channel you can expect in your zip code ranging from strong to moderate to weak and to no signal. If your channel search was successful and you found your local channels, you are now equipped to receive free HD TV. While OTA provides more free programming than ever before, Many of us were spoiled with the 400 channel slogan associated with cable and satellite TV. The good news is that you no longer have to rely on cable to get access to 400 channels anymore thanks to internet TV. There are multiple ways to access internet TV. There are hundreds of providers around the world that can be accessed through a computer, smartphone or streaming set-top box. There are simple ways to connect your computer or phone to a TV screen but set-top boxes make it easiest. There are several to choose from including Roku, Amazon Fire and Apple TV. There are several models available with different features. 
Some are boxes that will sit on your TV and some are USB sticks that plug into the back of your TV. Prices range from as little as $30 for a Roku Express to over $200 for a NVIDIA Shield TV streaming media player with remote and game controller. You can view different models by using the link in the description. If you still like to use DVDs, many Blu-ray players, like the set-top boxes, include apps that provide access to several subscription services. Many of these boxes, especially the Roku box, has access to multiple free providers, mostly movies, usually with ads being served during the playing of a movie or TV show. All of them have access to paid services starting as low as $6 a month and going up from there. It depends on what you like to watch. Movie and series TV providers are cheaper than live sports and cable news providers. Cable and satellite providers are losing huge numbers of subscribers every day, so they are starting to put together smaller program packages that they can deliver online at a lower rate than what they charge on cable. Some cable channels are looking into selling access to their programs online too for the same reason, a declining subscriber base. It's hard to say what the future holds, but Internet TV is getting better and better.